Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Matt from the MC Spectrum, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about all the latest and greatest Battlefield 4 news. Over the course of Gamescom, Battlefield have released a lot of Battlefield 4 stuff. We got to see a new trailer for Parasol Storm, as well as the Battlefield 4 expansion packs and the premium. Now first off, let me start by talking about Parasol Storm, the new map. This map looks pretty sweet, I've got to be honest, I can't wait to play it. It's an island themed map with different military bases. There's a lot of sea warfare involved with lots of swimming and jet skis, it's looking pretty cool. Levolution is well expressed with the new dynamic that we get to see. This is a sea based windmill getting destroyed and landing in the ocean. This creates a huge wave pushing out a naval aircraft carrier into the land and crushing through part of the buildings. It also has dynamic weather where it can change from a nice sunny day on an island nice. to huge raging storms. Very good for a mood I think and it's looking fantastic with the new Frostbite 3 engine. Alongside dynamic weather is dynamic waves. These are pretty cool because you can see jet skis and boats being pushed out by these. On land itself there's a fantastically designed jungle. It truly is realistic and a great hiding place for recons. Caspian Border incorporated a kind of forest thing. But this just wasn't good enough, you couldn't get too much cover and people could see through the leaves. This in Parasol Storm is perfect, it's very realistic, as you could hide in the brush. In my own view, Parasol Storm, it looks brilliant, it's a really well designed map. Also, I like trolling, it looks pretty cool for trolling. I'm going to be putting claymores and C4 on my jet skis and just going to be ramming into people and boats. Next let me talk to you about this new game mode called Obliteration. It's all about picking up bombs and trying to destroy them. However, not quite in the same way as Rush. Simply, it's kind of like a Conquest Rush mix. It looks pretty cool though. It's kind of the team play kind of game mode I've been looking for for a while. Okay, so that's Paracel Storm basically. Included is Obliteration. Now let me talk to you guys about the new classes. DICE did release some new pictures for all the different models of characters. We have finally seen what Russia actually looks like, as we haven't seen this up to now. China and the US, of course, we did see from the previous gameplay. So firstly, let me introduce the Russian side. Now here is the Chinese side. And finally, the Americans. So what do you guys think? Which one's your favourite? Personally, I think the Russian Recon's my favourite. He looks pretty cool. He just got kind of like a ghillie suit thing. Very good for camo, and I think this will fit well into Parasol Storm. So DICE have completely redeveloped these classes on the field as well. Carbines, previously only for engineers exclusively, have now been opened up to everyone in the way that PDWs have been in Battlefield 3. PDWs are now the replacement for these carbines in engineer. So basically, engineer gets PDWs exclusively and carbines are for everyone. DMRs are also for everyone. These include the SKS and the SVD. Also, we get to see a fantastic new range of melee weapons. Instead of just the ACB and the knife, we now get to see things like bayonets and the shank. These are fantastic for all you troll stars out there. These bayonets, of course, actually do fill in your gun, which I can't wait for. I think that's a fantastic addition. Battlefield, you've done well there. On-field portability has been a big goal for DICE in this making of Battlefield 4. They wanted equipment to be mobile and good for use outside of a single point. For example, take an ammo kit. You know how support drops down an ammo box and everyone just hulls around it if they want to get ammo? That's now changed, as he can give out a portable ammo box. However, it can just be used for one person. But still, it's a very good idea as you can carry it around and keep refilling your ammo. This is likewise for medics and their medic kit, as well as recons and a kind of soflam thing, or laser designator as it should be called. This basically picks out targets like tanks or jets, anything that you can be locked onto with stuff like a javelin or a stinger. This laser designator will be carried round and so you can spot from different angles. So what do you guys think of that? Personally I quite like the idea of the ammo box and the medic kit. I also quite like the idea of the laser designator as this could obviously happen. So will I use it? I personally don't think I'll use that kind of laser designator thing very much. I don't really use the soflam either. So it's probably not my thing. Medic kit I'll definitely use and perhaps that ammo box too. So moving on. All the DLCs have now been officially named by Battlefield. We obviously knew of China Rising, but weren't quite sure of all the rest. So let me go from start to finish. Firstly, China Rising has been released. This is where the fight continues on the Chinese mainland between the US and China. We hope to see majestic maps in the style of the Chinese landscape. Following China Rising is Second Assault. Four maps from fan favorites have been taken from Battlefield 3. These are Operation Metro, Operation Firestorm, Caspian Border and Gulf of Oman. 
These four fan favourite maps have been remodelled using Levolution and the power of Frostbite 3. The fight reaches the sea in the third edition of the DLCs. This is Naval Strike. The Chinese fight the Americans out on open waters. The Americans will not stand for this and fight back in the fourth edition Dragon's Teeth. And finally the epic battle concludes in the fifth edition Final Stand. DLCs are always an exciting part of new games. They keep it fresh as it ages. Hopefully we'll get to see some fantastic maps here developed by DICE to fit in with these subjects. Also some extra guns which could be pretty cool. So that's the majority of Battlefield 4 and what we know. Let me leave you guys with Levolution Explained. Personally, the original showcase of Levolution kinda confused me, as all we got to see was the building falling in Siege of Shanghai. But after seeing Paracel Storm, it comes clear to me. So if you guys are a bit confused, here's what it is. Levolution is how the map changes to fit you. You can design the map how you want. This includes the building falling in Siege of Shanghai and a ship crashing through an island and buildings on Paracel Storm. Furthermore, this is dynamic weather. It's waves and the rain. You could flood a city if you wanted. This completely changes the game on your own accord. You could change from walking around a back alley with your gun out to holding an LMG on the front of a boat. Levolution is your way to play the map. You get to choose how you do it. So here's to Battlefield 4 guys, not long now. Should be hopefully seeing the beta around the end of September to the beginning of October. I simply cannot wait. Battlefield 4 has created so much hype for all of us out there. So thank you for watching my commentary guys. My name has been Matt from the MC Spectrum and I'm signing off.